Hi, this is Steve at Greenfield H2O. I've got a short video here. I, what we're doing is doing something a little bit different. Not HHO today. Uh, I've been talking with a couple people on the internet and uh, it's really got me intrigued. So I threw together a, uh, a fuel vaporizer. Just something uh, I had uh, some parts laying around. I uh, thought this worked pretty good. Um, and then I've uh, hooked up my scanner and I've got some interesting uh, things to show you. Uh, I don't know exactly what all they mean, but uh, here we go. Um, so what I got is a water canister and I just simply put a tube in there and it's down in the gasoline there. Um, going to look for a uh, vacuum port. Took off the uh, air plenum there. Um, there's a butterfly. I, what I found was the only two vacuum lines I have is for the brake booster and this other one coming off the side here. It's all metal. And then I noticed there was a port here on the brake booster. The late inch port, so I just took my line to that. And it goes up into the booster. And on the other side, I just put a little valve to control the air going in. Over here, if you can see that. The, the one on the top, this is the short term uh, fuel term, and there's two of those, and the little long term, those take longer to change that data. But anyway, you can see where it's adding fuel is, you see that one changing to 0.8. It's adding, or now it's taking away 0.8. Um, and then what I wanted to show you is when I flip this valve, open up the valve, I start to vaporize the gas and open that up you can hear the engine changing RPM changing opening that up all the way and look at my look at my fuel trim minus 12 percent minus 14 that's it's taking away fuel Now look what happens when I close the valve. Okay, I'll close the valve now. Engine RPM drops almost to where it dies. And see how it's oh, see how it's taking fuel away, or it's putting fuel back. Sorry. So there you are, back up to 0.8. Now I put in 3.9, 4.7, trying to compensate. And that it's up to 10% now, 11. I got the engine warmed up. Okay, and now it's going to drop back down. Let's release. That's what it did before. Drop back down. It'll get somewhere close to zero again. By the way, Ray, thanks for the video. Um, I watched your video last night, and along with um, the ideas that have been given me uh, for the fuel vaporizer, um, I realized that my scanner had this uh, fuel trims on it, so I was excited today to hook up the scanner and try this out. So th thanks a lot, Ray, for posting that video. But anyway, you can see the fuel trims are continuing to go down. So it's trying to get back to zero. Um, but when I turn this on, you can see how it takes fuel away. So now I got it on. Just, a, just part way. Starting to take it away. As I turn it on, turn it on even more. Taking away fuel. So I don't know what this means as far as driving around town, um, but I'm gonna give it a little bit, a uh, bit attention. See if. Uh, we can make something happen here with some gas mileage.
Who knows, there may be a whole lot of potential with this in the HHO. It's really cold out here today. I think it's probably 40. I mean, it's not really cold, but so the gas is really cold. Uh, I think this would do better than the, if the gas was heated also. More vapor would be, be released. Anyway, there's a look at it. Real simple. I, mean, I didn't have to make any modifications to this truck at all. That little port there. That's stock, so. so. Anyway, I'm gonna try this out. See if I can uh, get any better mileage out of the truck here. Uh, we got the HHO system off for the winter train because of freezing temperatures. But we can, we can, uh, in this thing's experimentation. I'm curious to know what it'll do to those uh, long term fuel trims over time. like the computer's adapting already. When I first put this on, I would get 10, 11% negatives. Oh, there they go. Okay, guys, uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Appreciate everyone watching.